Finally. It is good November morning. 6th, and good morning, Bill. Good morning, everybody. I'm Martha McCallum. So you've got these nominees getting ready for a long day of waiting and of hoping. A lot of nervous, frayed uh, ends out there this morning, while Governor Romney plans to do a little bit more campaigning. But before heading out this morning, the governor voting in his home state of Massachusetts. We understand that we're going to have that tape to show you moments from now. And the Romney team is now headed for three pivot. So remember to tune in tonight. Our special election coverage group is uh, and you're going to be tonight. doing. I will be doing the exit polls and which is always fascinating. Power. Yeah. Oh. You know, we're, we're going to get an early look at uh, sort of as those mm -hmm. those questionnaires come in, you start to get a sense of what people were thinking, what mattered Absolutely. to them when they walked out of the exit polls. It's very telling. Very cool. I'll be on the billboard, which will, starting at 7 o'clock, be receiving real-time information yeah. from the precincts, from the counties, and you'll see how these battleground states develop. So check us out. All right. Well, on a serious note here, manning the Brad, you can turn the entire state in that county in northern Ohio. Will that happen this year? We're about to find out. Martha, see you in a moment. Yes, we are. Thank you, Bill. So with the polls just opening, both campaigns are making a last minute pitch to voters on Fox and Friends this morning. Senior Obama advisor Robert Gibbs offering a reminder of what his team sees as the source of many of the nation's problems. Thank you so much. Sure Great to talk to you this Thanks, morning. Martha. Thanks for coming in. All right. So speaking of that, a new storm, I, I can barely even say this, okay, is taking this nor'easter, this new thing, is forming off the east coast and it is bringing very cold temperatures to people who are living without power, over a million of them in this area. So this storm could be packing enough rain to cause some new problems. The speeches, the ads, the babies kissed have brought very excited around here uh, because it is finally election day. Good morning to you everybody. I'm Martha McCallum. I'm Bill Hemmer. Good morning. It is November 6 on your calendar and Governor Romney making last minute stuff. Special report uh, in a little bit beyond that. Brett, we'll see you later. Okay, Martha. Okay. All right. So tune in tonight. Our special primetime election cover. Fox News alert. A judge in Pennsylvania has just issued orders to reinstate Republican election officials in Philadelphia. There are reports this morning that some of them reported being thrown out of polling sites and replaced. Following all of this throughout, he's going to keep uh, us posted on these developments. And big, uh, also this story for you this morning, state officials in the swing state of Colorado are looking into reports of malfunctioning voting machines. We always get some of this on election. More. Interesting. We'll see. Thanks, William. Good morning. And the economy, of course, we've learned from pretty much every poll, is the top issue on these voters' minds as they go to place their ballots today. The latest monthly on for you, Lanny. Uh, and you oh, gave one to, to Monica <laughs> earlier. You guys are I disagree, but thank you. <laughs> great to have you both here. Thank you so much. Thanks, Martha. Thanks. So one look. Campaigns actively campaign. Your primary vote. States. We're going to see how much of that is paying off next. Please listen, these are the days you live for when you're in this business. We absolutely this, this is a do. Super Bowl for I'm us. I'm so excited. And I it can only happens every four speak. years. It's very so. exciting today, and we're going to be all over it. Coverage gets started at 6 p.m., as you know. So let's talk about this. Where should we go right now? How about Des Moines, Iowa? Because they kicked off this presidential election during the primaries and very well could end it. Seven electoral votes up for grabs in Iowa. They've gotten a ton of attention, including from the president last night. And during a visit there, he laid out what he thinks at stake in very plain terms. Watch. Six electoral votes in Iowa, folks. Shannon Bream is live in Des Moines. Shannon, how busy are the polls there this morning? Well, Martha, there has been a steady stream of Iowans turning out to vote. There were some minor problems with electronic voting machines elsewhere in the state. Secretary of State's office tells us that has been rectified. Something else the Secretary's office is watching, the presence of international monitors who have indicated they want to be inside the polls here in Iowa. Here's what the Secretary told us about that. So instead of the top of the ticket uh, mandating what happens down ticket, it may work the other way around here in Iowa. Mm, Martha. Very interesting. Shannon, thank you so much. So this Pundits are out with their predictions, of course, for tonight. Most see this as a very close race that could be decided by just one or two of the swing states. But our next guest says that Governor Romney, in his opinion, and he's been watching these things for a long time, he believes that he will win big and he's out there uh, with it. So he'll either be very right or very wrong come tomorrow morning. Uh, yes. Okay, uh, very interesting, Michael. Well, uh, I've got your numbers on my desk, so we'll see how you do uh, tomorrow. And we're going to be also looking at a lot of the balance of power issues this evening uh, with some interesting Senate races out there as well. So we'll talk to you about that uh, next time. Okay, on the other side. great.
Michael, thank you. What was the line in Pulp Fiction? Check out the brain on Brad. Check out the <laughs> brain on Barone. Oh my gosh. That guy can talk about he, every any region. County. He wrote and a fascinating book about literally yeah. the history of politics in America. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, so big question. What will we see tonight uh, when these polls close? And you've got, as we mentioned, five of the battleground states that are all. Big night and see tonight, so, right? Oh, yeah, you Around kind of have to pace yourself through a mm -hmm. day like this because there's so much anticipation and excitement mm -hmm. uh, as we get ready for this big night yep. uh, and mm -hmm. get ready to cover it. But we will be learning about the exit polls, and I'll be bringing power. Mm -hmm. I'll be looking at this evening. Senate, House, will they stay the way they yeah. are now, or will they change? It's going to be a great night. Fascinating every time. 6 o'clock Eastern Time, that's when we start. Have a great day. Happening Now starts right now. We'll see you then.